fully working all done. You can go on there, you can let the children play on the ship. They dress them up as pirates, they run around and have loads of fun. It's a great day out. Whilst the children do that, to the right of the ship, there's a nice pub where the adults can play. This bridge, probably the most famous river crossing. This right, is London. Right. And it's the fifth London Bridge to stand here in 2000 years. The first one was wooden and it was built by the Romans. It burnt out. As I'm sure you know from the nursery rhyme, the song, most of the others, they fell down, all but one, and that was the fourth bridge. In the 1970s, it was sinking into the river bed. So we took it down, piece by piece, brick by brick, and we sold it. We sold it to an American, a businessman called Robert McCulloch, who shipped the bridge back to the USA where he rebuilt it. And he rebuilt it over Lake Havazu in Arizona, where it still stands today. We've had someone on board earlier who saw the bridge. Has any of you seen it? A few of you have seen it today. You've seen it? I'd love to go out and see it one day. I've heard there's not a lot there at Lake Havazu. But I'm going to go in spring break. Up to the right hand side, the shard and the plot. And it stands at over a thousand feet high. Inside the shard, a six star hotel. It's called the Shangri La. And there are bars, restaurants, offices, and apartments. Designed by the town. They offered him two million pounds for his design. And he said no. He said, if you want my design, give me the penthouse. They did. He sold it two years later for 48 million pounds. Very clever man. You can see our warship on the right hand side, HMS Belfast, built in the same shipyard as the Titanic, the ill fated ship. This one did a bit better. And she last saw action throughout the Korean campaign. That's where she last fired those guns in anger. There are six guns at the front and six at the back. Each gun fires a hundred weight shell, 14 land miles. A powerful ship in her day. Permanently moored in London today, she's an extension now on the Imperial War Museum. You can see that you can go aboard the ship, you can take the children on there. You can go all the way up to the captain's bridge, all the way down into the engine room. If you've got children and you want to tire them out whilst you're in London, take them on there. They have ladders and ramps all around the ship. By the time you get off, the kids will be that good than you might get an early night. We'll turn the boat around very shortly, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a nice side-on view of Tower Bridge, the gateway to London. And the bridge, it opened in 1894. It was designed by Sir John Wolfe Barry. Designed in the Gothic style to blend in with the Tower of London on the left. It isn't as old as it looks. And as I'm sure you know, Tower Bridge can be raised. It opens up like a double-sided drawbridge. And it opens in less than 90 seconds to let any taller masted ships into the upper pole of London. The bridge will open 364 days a year. There's only one day of the year when that bridge will not open. Does anyone know which day that might be? Christmas day, that's a good guess. That's what most people think. The only day where everything in London closes is Christmas day. Tower Bridge still open. Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Do you want to know where he lives? I'm not allowed to tell you, but he may or may not really like Yellow Statue. Canary Wall is the development on the left hand side. They call it the Mini Manhattan of London. That's our banking community. 
Every day, Monday to Friday, they accommodate over a hundred thousand bankers every single day. So it's a very busy place, Monday to Friday. Over weekend, a lovely place to visit. A nice place to go and do a bit of shopping. A nice place to go and have a couple of pints and a nice meal. There's some nice restaurants at Canary Wharf. But as I say, avoid it Monday to Friday. Full of bankers. I did say bankers. Get myself in trouble up here someday. Now, if you look down in front of the boats, look left, look right, there's nothing to see. All we really have down in this part of the river, apartments. All I can tell you about leaving any personal belongings on board the boat. So you go, if you are looking back or looking towards the rear of the boat, the bridge is actually raging. Very sailing barge coming up through. been many things in its time to tell, like a royal mint where they made money, an observatory, a prison, a palace, and even a zoo. Most famously known as a place of execution and torture. Look on the river wall, you can see the blocked up archway and the words, entry to the traitor's gates. And if you were found guilty of treason to the crown, if you were a traitor years ago, you would have been rowed down to here from Westminster by a waterman, and you would have been rowed through London's first one-way street, taken up to the bloody tower, and that is where they would have chopped off your head years ago, with a large blunt axe. 
And if you were famous in those days, it didn't end there. They would have dipped your severed head into a barrel of tar and they would have stuck it on a spike on London Bridge to warn off any...